In 2017, there will be flying cars, hoverboards, prosthetic limbs that can be controlled by the human brain, and aliens as our neighbors. God bless the future of humanity. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, we don't have any flying cars. I, I, I mean, we do, but like, they, they look stupid and they still have wheels. But we, we have hoverboards, though. Well, not really. I mean, they don't really hover. They, they also still have wheels. Wheels? That's not a hoverboard. No, yeah, yeah, no. I know, dude. I understand. Um, we, we have prosthetic limbs, though. Great! I bet that's made a difference in humanity. Limbless people walking around like cyborgs, controlling metal yeah, and- Yeah, no. The, the limbs, the, they can't be controlled by the human brain yet? Oh. At least you have aliens on your side. No, no. Y yeah, no, we don't have aliens on Earth yet. We, we haven't even had any contact with them, so... Uh... uh sorry. What, what do you have, then? Uh, oh, do you have highly advanced defense systems and weapons in which they fire projectiles in which the molecular structure of those projectiles nonetheless resemble that of a laser beam? No. No, we don't. Well, then what do you have, then? Uh... Now, for the past year, there's been this trend consisting of, like, satisfying videos or, like, you know, just weird stuff. And I don't really know if it's relevant enough to be in society. And, like, I'm well aware that people enjoy these videos because, well, they're pretty satisfying. Like, people would probably expect us to have, like, flying cars and, and, and laser guns and, you know, like, just like, futuristic technology by now, but, like, super advanced stuff, like holograms and stuff, but there's people buying toys and squashing them and getting paint and spreading it across a table like i was watching these videos the other day and like you know just some just some youtubers i came across this compilation of videos called try not to be satisfied and i was like hmm, okay let me try not to be satisfied then and i got on and i was like this is this is what the world has come to like legit th this is what the world is doing right now you would think we'd have x-ray vision glasses by now but i guess not because where there's people like this spreading paint there's some random people just grabbing makeup and putting it in slime and then playing with it and then they're probably going to throw away that slime anyway like 10 minutes later after they film the video and they put it in a compilation saying oh wow well, look, look how uh, look how satisfying this is okay so i was just chilling in my house with my family and um i overhear my sister watching these videos of this girl she's getting a bunch of toys like squishy toys like you know those those sticky ones like these ones um and what she was doing was she was spending money she was buying these toys and she, she got a pair of, of scissors to cut to cut these toys now Think think about that for a second. <laughs> think about that. What went through her head to start doing this on YouTube? <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm gonna go down to the two dollar shop. Um, I just had a great idea. Uh, I'm gonna actually spend some of my well earned money straight out of my bank account. I'm going to buy squishy toys. I'm going to spend my money on them my money my money on them and instead of playing with it in private like it's made for i'm gonna set up a freaking camera on a damn tripod i'm gonna put it on a on a super white table so that all the kids watching me can get blinded and then i'm gonna cut the sh out of it who has that thought he actually has that thought. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna sit in my ass and cut a bunch of toys. Kids buy those toys. They're supposed to be played with, not cut open. Shoot, my sister is watching Stretch Armstrong getting cut open. His limbs are literally getting cut open. His head was getting cut open. His whole chest was just getting cut in half. 
and then there was this transparent gel liquid type of substance coming out and it was oozy it was like the blood and then she was, the, the lady was like oh my gosh this is so cool and sticky and i was like well, uh, what that's disgusting you're cutting another human being open well pretty much another human being it just just stop just stop that's not even the worst that's not even the worst there's people grabbing the slime i'm sure you guys have seen it before like on instagram and stuff on social media people grabbing slime and then the they're putting like little bits of um sp they're, they're sprinkling it with like glitter and and putting powder on it some sort of like slime powder and then what they're doing is they're just gonna play with the slime a little bit it makes a few sounds bang that's a satisfying video like there's uh, some of the content out there on the internet isn't really thought out like who the hell oh, i still can't get over that and the fact is like, they actually make money out of that. So, the, the the lady cutting open Stretch Armstrong. Yep, there you go. There's there's five hundred thousand dollars into your bank account for the first six six thousand people that viewed it. That, that that probably doesn't sound right, but whatever. I don't know how the monetization works. But um, like, like look at this. Just just look at this. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It doesn't because all she did was grab paint, get a little bit of a spatula, and uh, just, 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 you know, just, just spread it on, onto the table like butter. Here's a question: What the f does she do to the fucking paint? Nothing. She probably throws it out, which, which is a waste of money and paint. Probably get paid for this. They get paid for this because that's how life works now. They get paid to do this. That, that still pisses me off. Why would you have to? Why? Why would you have to do that to Stretch Armstrong, man? Why Stretch Armstrong? What did he ever do to you? What? Like, what? What goes through your mind to do that to Stretch freaking Armstrong? Just take a look at this. Take a look at this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's Stretch freaking Armstrong right there. Okay. I don't think you understand. That's Stretch Armstrong. Now, look, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you can do this if you want. This can be your content. If you really want to create a YouTube channel and you want to do satisfying videos, you go for it. I'm not stopping you, but I'm just saying it's pretty damn irrelevant to our Earth. And know you, what you're probably wondering. Um, excuse me. Why are you saying that they're not doing anything? You're probably sitting down on an Ikea swivel chair in front of a microphone, sitting on your ass, recording your voice with some gameplay footage in the background to keep the viewers entertained so it's not just a black screen with a few... You, you know what? Shut the hell up, okay? This is... The, that's because I don't have anything else to do. Literally, I, I literally don't have anything else to do. The people who are making these satisfying videos, they're adults. They probably have a job. They probably have a job. Usually the late, the, usually the girls doing the satisfying videos have really nice nails, meaning they would have had to spend money on that nail polish, or spend money on that manicure. Meaning, where do they get that money? Oh wait, a job, exactly. Like, I know I'm, I'm going on a little bit of a rant here. So, yeah. <laughs> This is kind of my first video, so I didn't really know what to do, so I just said, you know, why not just talk about satisfying videos and stuff like that. I still can't, I still can't get over Stretch freaking Armstrong, man. And they make money out of that. Whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, if you do want me to make more rants or more videos, I don't know, just comment down below and i'll try to do them so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh have a nice day